up YouTube, it's Zapdos TCG here and in this battle video I'll be playing the new Durin deck that came out of the Noble Victory set. This deck goes after the deck of your opponent to discard it as fast as you can instead of going after the usual prize card so it's a whole different way of winning. And my opponent is on the left side and he plays a Dynchamp Dragons deck which revolves around Machamp Prime's Champ Buster attack and uh, yeah you want to maximize the damage by using uh, Runeclus's damage swap and putting the damage on strong Pokemon like um, the Dragons, uh, Reshiram, Zekrom and Kyurem and they have Outrage attack so you can manipulate that as well so we start this battle and he has a cleft as his active and I have a Durant which is great I uh, also could have started with a um, Drowsy which would have been really bad but that's not the case so uh, my opponent can start and he has a collector as his uh, first supporter which is really awesome because he can get out three basic Pokemon right away and he already gets out a Reshram because uh, Reshram uh, deals super affection to my Durant which is a smart move he also gets out Machop and a Solosis, which is uh, kind of a surprise because he wants to get out Reuniclus and then put damage around, stuff like that, but unfortunately, uh, yeah, I have a deck that don't, doesn't attack. I only discard cards from my opponent's deck, so uh, that's uh, nothing to worry about. If the Reuniclus gets out, I can just catch it right away. But uh, yeah, I'll start off and I use uh, Dual Ball. An interesting fact is that uh, he didn't use uh, Eek with Cleffa, which means he has a really good hand. Uh, probably, yeah, you can see a glimpse of his hand, he has a Machamp together with a, uh, yeah, Rare Candy. So, he can get out Machamp as, on his second turn, which will be really uh, bad for me, because uh, if he can attach his uh, energies to use his attack, uh, the Durant will be history. And yeah, they run on special energies, and Machamp has an energy, <laughs> not an energy, an attack that can discard special energies, which will be really bad. But I uh, use Dual Ball, I get one hit. And there we go, another Durant in play, and an energy to my uh, active Durant. So, two Durants in play, one energy in play. And now I'm using Junkaram, discarding uh, Mime Jr. and the Twins to get Dual Ball back because I want to have a full uh, Durant on my bench, the full line, uh, getting four in my, my field. Just discard as many as I can, but unfortunately, the Dual Ball has both tails, so uh, really bad luck for me. Now I'm using the Supporter for the turn, uh, Team Rocket's Trickery to. Uh, my opponent uh, has to discard one card from his hand. Uh, this is a good way to disrupt your opponent's hand. To discard even more cards and then I can draw two cards. So it's a, sort of a cheering but uh, less effective. You Instead of drawing three cards you only draw two and discard a card from your opponent's hand. But your opponent can choose so yeah. I really like to play that uh, card in this deck. And now my opponent gets out Machamp which I feared. Uh, he also attaches an energy to Machamp and he captures the Durant without any energies attached to him. So he wants to stall. Hope He hopes that I don't have any metal energies in my hand. And uh, that's not the case, I don't have any. So he has uh, a bit of luck now. And now he uh, uses his supporter, Professor Oak's new theory. Which is a great supporter by the way, one of the best out there. Getting a fresh new hand without using uh, the attack Eek. So if it is a bad hand, he can use Eek after that. So. A uh, really great combo, Professor Oak, and then using Eek, you can stall with it as well. So, but it doesn't matter if the Clef has asleep because uh, I'm not after uh, KOing any Pokemon, I'm just after discarding the entire deck of my opponent as fast as I can to win the battle. So, that's basically the strategy of uh, my deck. And my opponent's deck is to get out and champ as fast as you can and use a uh, champ buster and stuff like that. And uh, if you get damage, Reunicus can swap them around and put them on the dragons which are on the bench like Zekrom and Reshiram. So, it's a quite interesting deck. Uh, I want to test it out myself. But uh, I chose to go for Durand uh, this week because uh, I made an episode about uh, Durand and I wanted to test it out to see how good it really is. And he flips still, so the Clef has asleep. And as you see, he did the combo there using Professor Oak's new theory and then Eek. And he places his uh, Pokemon a bit uh, cleaner. And I just use my attack uh, Devour to discard two of my uh, the top cards of my opponent. And there he goes again. He's asleep. That's all he can do. But uh, he attaches an energy this time. And puts, puts a Fampy on the bench and Rare Candy Reuniclus, so he has a, a really fast starter, by the way. Getting Reuniclus and Machamp on the, the third turn is uh, really amazing. If you're up against a stronger deck like TZ DPS or uh, Rash Eflosion, this would probably one of the best setups for a Dungeon Dragons deck ever, but since he's up against uh, some weaker Pokemon called uh, Durant, uh, it's a quite different story because Durants are after the deck as you can see, they're sort of like uh, in the Discovery Channel uh, multiplying bugs that attack a uh, uh, larger beast or something like that, it's really amazing how uh, an uncommon card can be so good. So now I'm using Collector of my own, 
So that's really a good uh, pull right there. I drew a collector, which I really needed because now I can get out two more Durants. Uh, if, you're, there's, if there's a Durant prize, you can always get out the uh, Rotom and then swap around the uh, prize cards with the top of your deck and stuff like that to still get a Durant in play. But uh, looks like all four of them were in my deck and yeah, I get out Drowsy as well. If I can get out Hypno, I can sleep, uh, put uh, my opponent's active Pokemon to sleep, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. And if he's asleep, he can't retreat and attack so I can use uh, more Devours and uh, stall for time. And yeah, there he goes. He retreats his Cleffa. Gets out uh, the last energy from Champ, and yeah, and this will be really bad because you can use a Champ Buster and bang, Durant number one is out of there. Uh, thank God that my deck runs a lot of revives, uh, super rods, stuff like that to get the Durants back because those are uh, basically the main attackers, uh, not attackers, but they are after the deck of my opponent, but it's called an attack called Devour. So uh, those are the main Pokemon of the deck. Drowsy 1-1 uh, one, one line of Hypno is uh, just a tech card to stall for time. And I'm, now I'm using Twins, which is also a main supporter of this deck because you don't plan on picking any prize cards, so uh, all your prize cards will be there for the rest of the game. That's why Rotom and, uh, is also in this deck to swap around the prize cards if you really need something and you, you're looking through your deck and oh, it's prize, stuff like that, if that happens. I'm using Twins to get Catcher. And I captured the Dolphin, which he evolved on this last turn. So Dolphin is pretty much uh, his first attacker, but he started with a Cleffa, so that now he's uh, just a catcher material. And I'm using Revive, as you can see, to get my Durant back. So now I have four Durants again, which is awesome. And now we, I use a Devour for four cards. So for each Durant in play, I can discard the top card of my opponent's deck. Really great. And uh, yeah, my opponent is looking through his hand. He has a super scoop up, which uh, if it's head, he can put back the Dolphin back in his hand and he can start to attack again with Machamp. And yeah, it's head. He has a real, he's really lucky today, and he gets out Machamp again with four energies. Unfortunately, uh, he didn't attach any double colorless energy be because I have a lost remover in my hand, and I can put it in the lost zone if he had a double colorless energy. But look, he has only. He has the four fighting energy stage, which makes it really hard to uh, fight against it. I have to put, um, yeah, some Pokemon on the bench to keep devouring. <laughs> Looking through my discard pile, I'm doubting on using Revive or Catcher, but I'm going for Catcher to stall. And uh, the Reuniclus is wide open, it's just screaming for Catcher me. Junk Arm for the Catcher, and there we go. I'm going to put Reuniclus as his active Pokemon, which will be stuck there for at least two turns, unless he has Twitch, but his deck runs Twitch. And there I go, discarding three cards, because there are, I only have three Durans in play right now, and a Drowsy. Usually if I play against a Durant deck online on TCG Online program, I just capture the Drowsy right away, because it can be really annoying to be asleep for about... I was asleep for about six turns in a row, so that was really annoying. And there I go, I pulled a Hypno, so... And uh, now I can use Hypno's Poke Power and it's Tails, so you have uh, the downside of Hypno to throw uh, Tails, so... But I'm just using Devour and Devour for more cards in my opponent's discard pile. And yeah, the Reuniclus is basically stuck, he can't do anything, he doesn't manage to pull any switches or stuff like that. He just attaches a rainbow to his um, Reuniclus because he knows that he has to retreat him as fast as he can. And he wants to get Machamp back to his active, but if he has a fighting energy, he can use fighting tech, the Poke Power of Machamp, but he doesn't manage to pull any fighting energies as well, so he has to do it with Rainbow, and I discard more cards, so... And he has a double Carlos in his hand as well. And he throws Tail, so, which means he's asleep from uh, the turn, between turns, from my, my move to his move. And he attaches double cards on his turn, and uh, if he's awake, he can uh, retreat next turn, but it's my move again, so his Reuniclus is set to retreat next turn, and his Machamp is ready to Champ Buster the heck out of all my Durants, so that's why I catch her a Zekrom for a change, so stalling a bit more. Uh, you can see that Durant Zek uh, also uh, runs lots of catchers to stall. It's really uh, easy if you can stall for about uh, one or two turns, it's uh, all you need because you can devour for one or two turns extra. That can be really deadly. And there he goes, double Carlos retreating for Machamp. So his main attacker, Machamp Prime, is back in action. Can use. Uh, it looks like his deck is almost uh, empty. 
And there he goes, getting his third prize card. Well, I, I didn't pick any, but I'm not after any prize cards. I'm after uh, the deck of my opponent, and it looks like it's almost empty, so I'm <laughs> almost uh, declared the victor here. And yeah, I drew a card, it's a uh, rescue energy, but I can't do anything with it because uh, I'm just gonna attach it to my active Durant to uh, keep it alive. If he gets knocked out, I can uh, put it back in my hand. And yeah, he looks through his hand, his hand is huge by the way. If he has a card like Frostroke to Theory or stuff like that, he can uh, try to get his uh, deck a little bit uh, bigger than it is now. And looks like he has Copycat, a perfect way, because I don't have any cards in my hand, which means he just shuffles his hand back into his deck and yeah, he doesn't have to draw any cards because I don't have any. So he has a, a bigger deck and he can... Uh, Use Champ Buster for a couple of more turns, so he has his fourth prize card now. So it's really a, a good match. It's uh, quite exciting to see both decks in action. You see the combo there, the Reuniclus Machamp combo, and now I use N as my supporter, which is a really good way right now because he only has one card in his hand, and I can uh, draw six cards. I have to shuffle my hand into my uh, deck because uh, yeah, N is a really good card. It stays both players shuffle his or her hand back into his or her deck and draw the same amount of cards as your remaining prize cards. So my opponent gets two and I get six. So I, I run one copy of that just in uh, cases like this when your opponent has a, a small hand. And uh, now I'm attaching a Evil Light card, which is a tool card that uh, reduces all damage done uh, to basic Pokemon by 20. And again, Junk Arm for Catcher and another Catcher material. Zekrom is still uh, some nice Catcher material. I don't want to catch uh, the Reshram because he deals super affection to uh, my uh, Duran, so that's why I catch the Zekrom. And I use the Poke Power of Hypno to put it to sleep, and it works. Uh, I might have forgotten a couple of uh, Poke Powers from Hypno now and then because, uh, yeah, you have to pay attention. But since this is just a practice, practice match, it doesn't really matter. You just see the the power of both decks and yeah it's my opponent's move I can't do anything now it's back to me attach uh, Evil Light to my another Durant attaching energy to Durant and uh, yeah I discard everything because I now have three Durants I play uh, again and discarding three cards from my opponent's deck time after time after time and it stacks up and there we go no more cards in my opponent's deck and that's how Durant wins I know it's a, a new way to win you have a, in the past you used to have a lost world to win and uh, stuff like that and yeah usually you you will pick six prize cards to win but uh, if you play with Durant it's a completely different story and that's why I like to play with Durant it's a lot of fun it's a new way it uh, involves cards from noble victories uh, new stuff like that so that's why it's really exciting and the Dawn Champ the Dragon's deck is also exciting because uh, I never played it with it before but it looks interesting to uh, move around damage counters and uh, use that to your advantage to keep uh, Machamp alive uh, building up so your dragons and stuff like that so thanks a lot for watching uh, this weekly battle video I hope you enjoyed it and if you did click the like uh, button I really uh, appreciate that and yeah I'll uh, see you all next time this was Sabdurst TCG thanks for watching <laughs>